St. Louis Blues Hockey is brought to you by Dobbs Tire and Auto Center. In, up, fixed out, Dobbs does it all. Get great offers on 2015 Chevy models. Find new roads at your Mid-America Chevrolet dealer. And by Bud Light, who reminds fans to stay in the game and drink responsibly. And a two-game road trip begins tonight in North Carolina at PNC Arena. It's the Blues and Hurricanes. And our Dobbs starting goaltender is Jake Allen. His first start since January 13th when he beat Edmonton 4-2. He goes against Anton Hudobin. And Blues Hockey is sponsored by Bud Light, who reminds fans to stay in the game and drink responsibly. As the Hurricanes begin with their top line of the Stahl brothers, along with Yuri Tolusti, against Bacchus, Oshie, and Steen. And the puck comes around. And Justin Falk, who played in the All-Star game the other night, had his own line now for Eric Stahl. Interesting, too, the visiting team has to put their lineup out there first, and the, obviously the home team gets to match that, so Bacchus line starts it off, and sure enough, Bill Peters, the head coach of Carolina, he goes with the Stahl brothers, so same thing as what happened in St. Louis. Now the Blues work into the zone, a pass to Tarasenko, he is rolled over, now he gets up, now to the net, and a shot, he put that one high over the head of Hadobin, who is from Kazakhstan, and now lives in Russia. And they know each other quite well. You can see them talking a little bit uh, during the warm-up. Now it is Stasny back of the goal. Again, he is centering Schwartz and Tarasenko. Here's Tarasenko, a bomb from the line and a save there by Hadobin. And now back for Shattenkirk. Around to Schwartz for Tarasenko. And he looks for an open man. Finds Gunnarsson. And rolled back of the goal. Stasny gets away from his check. In front, and Tarasenko had a stick lifted in the puck to center ice. And then moved back in for Steve Ott. He funnels it around the boards for Reeves. It is Reeves, Gotch, and Ott here for the Blues. Marcel Gotch now for Ott. In front, wide open. They score! Ryan Reeves! What a play! Two goals in two games. And is he fired up? What a quick release by Ryan Reeves, and the fourth line of the Blues continues to hum along. We got to send Reeves to the beaches of Cancun again. That's where he spent his little bit of a break and re-energized coming back with a bunch of his buddies around the NHL, including TJ Oshie. Good cycle down low. Gotch is waiting, reverses it to Ott, and a quick pass and bad coverage defensively by the Carolina Hurricanes. Allows Reeves to spring open. Once he sees the cycle going that way, he moves and puts himself in a really, really good position. And there is Willard Reeves, the 1984 CFL MVP. And that is his fifth goal, a new career high. That is great stuff, and what a reaction again by Ryan Reeves. It's contagious, the energy that he brings to the table. And during the last three games that Willard has seen his son play, he scored a goal in all three. That's right, in Winnipeg as well. He had the game winner in Winnipeg. Oh, last night, his reaction in the suite that all the fathers were at was priceless. Only matched by Bill Elliott when Ryan made that final save in the shootout. Odd and Gotch get the assists. The goal at 148. And now the Blues will be called for icing here. So what a start. And this newly formed fourth line. They were good last night. They really were. They were good all over the ice. All over the ice. But this is, you know, when they made the trade with the Pittsburgh Penguins and Max Lapierre going that way, it was nothing against Lapierre's play. They just wanted a center iceman that just played a little bit of a different game, a little bit more of a controlled game on the defensive side of the puck. That's it. Well, you can see the trust factor when you start off this way for Ken Hitchcock is going to be significant. And Gotch gets his first point as a blue. Here's Ty Ratty oh, he in his third NHL game. You know, he fired the puck, and then whether that was a stick up high, I'm not sure, but he was holding on to his mouth there. Ratty, 17 goals this year in the American League at 31 last year. And now the blue is to center, and it goes by Steen. Played by Andre Sakara. Now in for Falk. And he'll chip one in behind the Blues goal. And Bacchus back to get it. And off the boards. And here's a two-on-one. Oshi and Steen. Then Petrangelo a shot. And that was blocked at the defense. 
Now in front, Bacchus, and he scores! David Bacchus, and it's two to nothing. First opportunity was a real good one, and Oshi waited. After not having a lane to David Bacchus, Oshi waited and fed it over to Petrangelo. That one was blocked, but they stuck with it, and Bacchus goes to the high slot and just lets this one rip and beats it open with a good hard shot. Here's the first play by Oshi. He waits for the trailer, which is which is uh, Petrangelo, and then Petrangelo makes a nice, smart move here, waits, puts it right on a tee for David Backus, and Backus snipes it. Backus has been absolutely on fire. Nine games now in a row, he's got eight goals and eight assists. And that is a career-long point streak, and Cam Ward will take over for Hodobin, who has won six in a row in net for Carolina, but a tough start for Hodobin and the Hurricanes. Hodobin doesn't want to leave the net. He sees what's happening, he's, he's reluctant to get out of the crease. And I've been here before. You know I was once pulled a minute and 28 seconds into a game? And I thought that a minute and 28 would be an all-world record. This is pretty close, isn't it? You were pulled 128 in, or who Dobin was? I was, 128 wow. into a hockey game. And I didn't want to leave that net, I was so mad. Well, mad at being down 2 nothing, a minute and 28 into a game, but then just mad at the fact that you prepare all day to play a game and you're down that early and you're done. That's it. All she wrote. The two guys that scored on me, though, were Lemieux and Coffey. Hey, they're good players. Two, I'd say. Two more Hall of Famers I helped to, to, to get in there. Now Tarasenko, and that hit the goal post. It was oh. almost 3 nothing. with a laser. The goal by Bacchus at 3.25 is 17th. Remember, Carolina led early in the game in St. Louis as well. Now Tarasenko again, a shot. And that was partially blocked. Can't take your foot off the pedal. Got to keep rolling here, and that's what the Blues do. And rifling that one by Tarasenko right off the bar. And number 25 is Chris Terry. He'll dump it in. Petrangelo and Oshie get the assist on that last goal. And a great start for the Blues. And now Gotch to the line. Has to wait for Reeves to clear the zone. And Sakara has it for Carolina. The Canes' last game was Tuesday, a 4-2 victory against Tampa Bay. When Eric Stahl scored 22 seconds in, but tonight the tables are turned on Carolina. And they're a team that has a really difficult time coming back when they are trailing. And especially you get them after 40 minutes of play. They've only won two games. 2-20-2. Two two. The Blues scored two goals in a span of 137. And now Reeves at center ice. Ryan Murphy back to get it. For Tim Gleason. And now on for number 24, Brad Malone. Malone is on with Dwyer and Jay McClement. This fourth line has been good for Carolina in the last couple of weeks. And rolled wide by Petrangelo. Now Yashkin comes in. Hurricanes break it up. Malone to center. And then dumped in by Dwyer. And then dealt back of the goal by Petrangelo for Jay Bomeister. And the Blues to center ice. Good pass now by Yashkin. And then scooped in by Petrangelo. Oh. It's a great experience again for Ty Ratty to get into the lineup at the NHL level. All he's done at the American League level and the Western Hockey League with Portland is, is really make plays and be a, a big-time player at key moments in games. That includes a five-point performance in the Memorial Cup Final against Nathan McKinnon. But So for Ty Ratty, just getting into the lineup again, playing two games late last year, is significant for him. In the meantime, our Toyota keys to the game. We're already early in the game and up to nothing, but you still have to play a patient, boring road game. Something that Martin Brodeur has specifically talked about. And you still have to respect the fact that the Carolina Hurricanes have been a terrific team the last 10. You mentioned that in the Open, 7-2-1 in the last 10, 4-1-0 in the last five, and beat a really terrific team in Tampa Bay, who's been one of the best teams in the league in their last one, as you mentioned. And now the Blues to center with Steen. And his pass tipped away by Tolusti. And it goes out of play. So a great start for the Blues. Reeves and Bacchus. Goals 137 apart. Well, I think a special moment this morning after the team didn't have a skate and they were milling about in the, in the uh, lobby 
the fathers of the Blues players got a chance to go into the team meeting. So Sean Farrell's the video coach, and you've got all the coaches there. And before Ken Hitchcock addressed the meeting, he said to the, he basically said to the fathers, he said, listen, this is a meeting that we're preparing ourselves for, so I give it to your son. That's the way it is. And, right. And so he went about it, and sure enough, as always is the case, uh, the Blues go through four or five negative clips where they do not say what the player is, but they do say this player, that player, this player, that player, and then they, they rolled off a whole bunch of really positive, good clips to end the meeting. But the fathers got to uh, got to experience that, which is good. They see what the players go through and the scrutiny and the criticism that happens and also the applause that they get when they do something well. Now a great pass in front, Gunnarsson. And his backhand feed to Schwartz blocked. And fed ahead to Nathan Gerby. But Gerby is beaten to it by Shattenkirk. And his pass blocked and then funneled right back in there by the Swede, Victor Rask. And Gunnarsson back of the goal. And he gets some help from a couple of his teammates. And now it comes to the line. Gleason a drive. That's blocked by Shattenkirk. And a three on two. Here's Schwartz. Oh, the Blues go offside with a outnumbered rush there. Yeah, Schwartz has got to just move that puck right away to Stasty. Move it ahead so that that player can get over the blue line. In the meantime, early in this game, first shift of the game for Tarasenko. The pass was a little fluttery and he took a high hit there by Nathan Gerby and then he just rifled one right off the bar over the shoulder of uh, Cam Ward when Cam Ward just came into the net. But I looked at that hit again at first, you think, man, that's a tough hit right there. But Tarasenko was in an awkward spot, kind of down. Nathan Gerby's only five foot five. He never lunged into him, he just hit him. He was just right on the button there for Tarasenko, he seems to be okay. But Dobin has started five of the last six games, so Ward has not seen a lot of work in the last few weeks. Here's Gotch back of the goal. He is nudged off the puck by Gleason. And now former Blue Jay McClement. Gotch after it again. And now McClement back to get it. And the former second rounder of the Blues shoots it down the ice. And it does go far enough for icing here. In this last shift here, Marcel Gotch, who now you see Steve Ott talking to him on the bench, communicating with him. Gotch is in the... He's not a real loud vocal guy. He's a very serious competitor, really listens, really attentive. But here he is below the goal line in the offensive zone, battling Gleason, doing a really good job of separating Gleason from the puck and not taking a minor penalty. That's the last thing that for any fourth line wants to do is take an offensive zone minor penalty. So another good shift by Ott, Reeves, and Gotch. Last night, Gotch was over 70% in the faceoff circle for the fifth time this year. So is very proficient in the dots. Now Yashkin comes in a shot and then flutters high and wide. Back to Petrangelo a drive blocked by Malone. And it's off his leg to center ice. And now a pass by Bowmeister. Worked in by Lindstrom, who as Darren said earlier, has played some center ice in his career. And now the Hurricanes run Hainsey. In on the wing and a high shot by Terry. That's wide, and the Hurricanes have yet to register a shot on goal. Yeah, so Jake Allen just got to stay mentally sharp here as we take a look at the offensive support that both Brian Elliott and Jake Allen have received. Uh, there's Tampa Bay that we talked about scoring 3.22 goals for per game, and maybe the biggest surprise out there are how great the New York Islanders have played. You expect Chicago and the Anaheims out there Obviously with the goal score per game, but uh, the Blues doing an excellent job I mean, from every single line, and boy, will they miss Laterra and certainly Bergen. Well, a very busy stretch for the Blues. Tonight is the first of nine games over 15 days as the Blues are called for icing here. Well, the stretch run begins now, and stretch run packs are going fast. Purchase seven game packs or full stretch packs Every home game right to the end, starting at $26 per game. Blues ticket reps are taking your orders until the start of the third period at 314-622 Blue. As Oshie gets to center ice, he has scored three in his last three. Osteen tried to hook it back in front, and that was blocked and now shot down the ice by Falk. And this does go all the way down for icing. 
Well, a quick shift here for the top line here of Alexander Steen. You know, Steen's quite a competitor, and if you don't, if you think for a minute that these players don't figure out if they're playing well or if they're playing poorly during the course of a game, Steen said after the game he wanted to pull himself. <laughs> he said he was so critical of the way he played, just didn't think he had a very good game. And I think one of the key things is that the coaches, and especially when we talked to uh, Kirk Muller, who returns here to Carolina, has previously been the head coach for three years, said when it's going like that for a player like Steen, simplify your game. We still need you, we're in the game, you're still an effective player, but don't try to do the things that normally work out for you if you're struggling, just simplify it. That's where Kirk Muller has been exceptional to the coaching staff of the St. Louis Blues. And last year, Muller led the Hurricanes to a record of 36, 35, and 11 as the club missed the playoffs for the fifth consecutive year. The record's looking pretty good, isn't it? It really is. He was a 500 coach here in Carolina at a time that was a very difficult time and keeping men on the roster and not being in the hunt. But uh, he showed a great deal of will and spirit in keeping that team to over 500. Well, back with the goal, Tarasenko. Gets it free for Schwartz. And he does a 360 move on Riley Nash. Back to Jackman, a drive and a pad save by Ward. Here's Ian Cole. Pass in front. Oh, Schwartz was behind the defense, but it was off the mark. And now Jackman again. To Schwartz, broken up. And Chris Terry, a law pass into Blues Ice. Schwartz also said that he had a real difficult time keeping, catching up to the pace in last night's game. And it comes in front. Now the Hurricanes get it. And Hainsey a shot block. Good job there by Reeves. Right in the shooting lane. Then Reeves to center ice. Well, right now, this is the number one line <laughs> in the game for the Blues. They've, they've been terrific. And that's tipped in deep by Gotch. And Ott twists one back to the goal again. And the native of Germany, Gotch, with a good move to the slot. And he can't get a shot in the Hurricanes to center ice. They remain shotless here. And Toulouse is bumped by Petrangelo. A good stand-up hit right there by Petrangelo, shoulder to shoulder. And now walked along by Bowmeister, a drive, and a blocker saved by Ward. Not dressed tonight for the Blues. The lone healthy scratch is Chris Butler. Yeah, the nice. Hurricanes have scratched Alexander Semin, who they signed to a big free agent deal a couple of years ago, making a lot of money, but in the press box tonight. Bill Peters isn't a banker. Oh, and the shot, my. and they score from the right point. Polk makes it 2-1. to one. That's the first clean shot on goal for Carolina. And they're into this game now. The All-Star, Justin Falk, and the U.S. Olympian last year in Sochi after Jay McClemon battles down low. The Blues are still in a pretty good position right there, but you can see the position of Malone in front not boxed out, and, and, and Jay Bowmeister right behind him. I mean, it looked by one angle like it glanced off of something. But Jake Allen goes down in the butterfly and gives the shoulders a shrug, and it just gets blown over his shoulder. Falk already a career high in goals now with 10. And that goal at 10.57 on their first shot of the game. And it's 2-1. to one. Here is Ty Ratty for the Blues. Lost it back of the goal. And the Hurricanes with it. Rask to center ice. And then back in the zone. Good position in the middle of the ice there by Joachim Lindstrom. A lot more difficult being a centerman having to play a 200-foot game and more stops and starts than just being a winger. McClement and Malone get the assist in the goal by Falk. And that fourth line now with 15 points this month. They might be the hottest line on the Hurricanes, aside from that stall line. Back of the line, Hainsey a drive, comes in front, and now push toward the goal. It's covered by Allen. And now we get some pushing in front. That is Shattenkirk for the Blues. A great start for the Blues. Reeves and Backus, and Falk has replied for Carolina. Aiden Schwartz's father flew on the same flight from Toronto into St. Louis yesterday. And Pop's looking on right here, and nothing more nerve-wracking than being a dad or a mother or family member of a...
goaltender. <laughs> no question about that. But there's the play. As Falk gets it back there, the winger was obviously Alexander Steen. He got deep down low, and that leaves that point position open. And when that happens, you've got to do your best to get into the shooting lane. So you get down low, they punt it back to the point, the shot goes through, you don't block it, and uh, that equals a lot of trouble. But you've got to give um, the credit to the fourth line, as you mentioned, Malone, McClemmon, and Dwyer. That was just a good cycle. It's exactly what the Blues' fourth line has been doing. Um, and you don't often score off that cycle, but when you have that sustained pressure, good things happen. And, of course, Jake is from Frederick to New Brunswick, the Canadian Maritimes, and he said that storm that hit Boston and New York dumped about three feet of snow in Fredericton, and they were off school for a couple of days, and that does not happen too often in Canada. No, in the States, you get three inches, you're off for a week. <laughs> it, it, took, it took three feet for them to shut her down, and all the kids are probably an outdoor rink. <laughs> So it's 2-1 here, 7.45 to go in the first period. Pass in front by Jordan Stahl, now for Eric. And then Bacchus goes down in the corner. Haynes get it back to the line, Falk a shot. Save on Allen, made the save on the rebound by Jordan Stahl. What a save that was there. Terrific reflexes with the left pad. And this comes on the heels of a battle down below. Big David Bacchus battling Stahl. And the Carolina Hurricanes ended up winning that battle. Eric Stahl comes down low to the left of Jake Allen. And David Back is in a really good position. But these are two big boys going at it. And uh, Back has ended up falling on his rear end. And now the Hurricanes win the faceoff. A shot from the line by Murphy. That's tipped wide by Bowmeister. And collected by Oshie. And a high backhander ends up in the Hurricane zone. Now Sakara on to Gerby. And he darts in. The former saver for Dwyer a shot. And that's wide by about five inches. And then played down low. Stasny gets it back for the Blues. On to Schwartz. And his feet on the right wing. Ooh. Intended for Cole, who barely got it by Gerby. Yeah, Gerby's got some quick hands there, and he was cheating on the offensive side of it. And if he got it, he was gone. And now Gerby, who goes about 5-5. Five, five. Gets it in deep. I don't have to tell you that he's got to be one of my favorite players. Being a little guy with gumption. Oh, you gotta, you got to love the little guy like that. He's sturdy like you read about, and he's got some good hands. And now McClemon back for the Hurricanes. Here comes Hainsey. And then tipped into the blue zone. And then thrown back of the goal by Lindholm. And now McClemon again. At the point, kept in by Belmore. And then picked up by Shattenkirk off the boards and out. And then Shattenkirk hit back in the zone by Lindholm. Yeah, I think Shattenkirk might have got away with one. He retaliated late and gave him a shove, but the referee had missed that. Shattenkirk clearly frustrated with that first hit. And now the Blues to center, Reeves. Then he rolls it in, goes on the hunt, in behind the goal. And Gleason sidesteps his check. And then Reeves a hit on McClement. And then Lindstrom over there. His shot comes to Reeves and a drive. Blocked. Wide open. Lindstrom back of the goal. And he can't pull the trigger. Now he does. And a save by Ward. As the Blues attack the goal. Good play there by Lindstrom. Good patience shown. It's 2-1 for the Blues here in the first period. All right, Pat. The Blues have been great against the East this year, a record of 11-3-2. And of course, this road trip will take them to D.C., the nation's capital, on Sunday. As Lindstrom wins the faceoff, Shattenkirk a shot blocked. And now Skinner gets it to center ice. And his shot off Gunnarsson and into the netty. Well, before that, we showed you Jake Allen's dad, Kurt Allen, had to be thrilled with the saves that were made here by Jake Allen. This coming on the heels of the goal there with the left pad. Really good position. And Shattenkirk braced himself for the hit. But you can see that, uh, that he ends up at first bracing for it. Then takes a little bit of the pop right there. And that came on the heels of uh, Elias Lindholm, their former first round draft pick. Pretty sturdy player. I like the fact that the, the Blues have just recently played Carolina. That's happened more 
this year than in previous schedules, hasn't it? The yeah, they played the Devils exactly. in, a, in a short span. The New York games. Islanders, the same thing. Exactly. You know, oh, oh, what a save there by Allen on Tolosti. Wow. Yuri Tolosti, point blank. That's the way to battle back for Jake. Sitting around for five or six minutes, not facing a shot. They've given up the first one that he's got very little chance on, and he's come back with two gems. Well, the Blues don't get it deep. Here's Tolusti the other way. And now Eric Stahl rolls off the check. Belmore a drive. That goes wide and scooped up by Allen. Well, the coach Bill Peters of the Carolina Hurricanes said before the game they want to get pucks below the goal line, work the Blues in deep, get them behind their defensemen, don't allow them to handle pucks, and then with that cycle, jam the net. Well, they've done a good job of getting it down low, but back to the point, and then creating a lot of traffic in front of the net, making it very difficult for the Blues defensemen. Jake came on in relief against Carolina, played over 51 minutes, stopping 20 of 21 in that shootout victory a few weeks ago. And the Blues win the faceoff. Here's Tarasenko. Can't clear it. And now Jackman around the boards. Tip by Schwartz and out. Shots in the game. 7-6 for the Blues. Hooley 2-1. Now Hainsey gets it. Through the middle now for Terry. And he battles against Jackman. Ian Cole. He'll push it around. Now it's Schwartz. On to center ice, Tarasenko. And at the line, he slowed up. Then we get a whistle. So a couple of rushes there, Darren, by the Blues, and they're not getting the puck deep. No, they're getting uh, kind of caught up at the blue line. And it's it's been like there's been a, a boundary right there. Instead of recognizing that there's no play to be had, you can't move the puck three feet ahead of you when that player's stopped at the blue line. That's where it's got to go in deep. And it, that the recognition starts when you start saying it on the bench to one another. When you start putting pressure on your line mate or the coaches or the other players start putting pressure on getting the puck in deep, that there's no play to be made right there at the blue line. I think that's been the one area that the Blues really want to get figured out. They've been rather stubborn this year at that part of the game because they're more talented, they're more skilled, they want to make a play. But there is a time and a place to just uh, play the game the way the game lies. And this time Reeves gets it in. Puck center on Gunnarsson to hold it in for the Blues. And now Reeves on the forecheck in front, no one is there except for Ryan Murphy in the puck to center ice. And then played back in by Gunnarsson. The Blues on the road this year, 11-9-2. And, and one thing they want to do better is play better on the road and hold on to leads better on the road. And Hitchcock told us the other day, you've got to trust yourself. Yeah. And it has to come within the locker room. Yeah, you do. Now, here, here's the play. There's no play to be made right there because Hainsey does a really good job of holding the line. Very little uh, space to make a play. And when you've got a skilled guy like Vladdy Tarasenko, he doesn't want to chip it, up, chip it by the boards and get beyond that player. I don't blame him for that. I, you know, I hated, I hated the way the game has evolved and, and, and players just do that because the defenseman can't hit them. He wants to make a play. It's almost robotic at times. It is. And... Now Tyratty comes in a shot, and that's off a stick wide. Tyratty played a couple of games late last year for the Blues. On with Yashkin, then Lindstrom. And now it's knocked away by the Hurricanes. Hainsey gets it. And he comes across to his partner, Brett Belmore. Into Gerby. Gerby can't get around Petrangelo. And a nice pass to Steen, three on two here. Now Steen in front to Bacchus, and he tips that one wide. And it's back on the goal for Oshi. Shakes away from his man. Tip by Steen. Now Jackman with it. No backdoor feed to Steen. Good idea there by Jackman. Now tipped oh. on goal by Bacchus, and a pass saved by Ward. Great matchup here for the top line of the Blues. And then Jackman a drive and a save. Rebound off the side of the goal. Here's Oshi back of the goal. Now Oshi to the line again. And Jackman. Throws it high, steam back of the cage. And then back us off the boards. Kept in by Cole. Great shift here by the Blues top line. And then Oshie wins the battle back of the goal. I thought Oshie played 
with, with, with a lot of uh, tenacity in the game last night in every aspect of the game. And he's continued that on here. And his dad, Coach Oshi, is on oh, hand it's here. Good. It's good to see Coach Osha. Huh? It really is. Boy, that family's gone through a lot recently, and it's just good to see his smiling face. Boy, when Oshi scored that goal last night, he was pretty emotional in the, in the, in the box there with all the fathers. Well, this top line again, was, the matchup was key, uh, going up against the fourth line of the Carolina Hurricanes, and the Hurricanes defensively couldn't sort things out, and the Blues were just pouncing on them. So that play there, you see that Backus actually stopped the puck, allowing Oshi to catch up to the puck. So then Oshi keeps it going, as you see, there's Coach Oshi right there, look at him. Got the big A on the sweater, big number 74. By the way, that assist by Petrangelo on the back of goal is his 200th NHL point. Becoming the sixth Blues defenseman to hit the 200 point mark. Dad Joe here, that's, that's great. He's obviously quite a year last year for Petrangelo. If there was an all-star game, he was in. And now Tarasenko. He had to settle for that gold medal of representing Canada instead. And then Gotch knocks down the Hurricanes to center with a minute to go here in the first period. And Allen funnels one to the near side for Petrangelo. And to his partner, Bo Meester now for Ott. And off the boards for Reeves. Here's an on-man rush. Reeves in again. Reeves in front. Had a man there, but it was tipped by a hurricane stick. Smart little interference play there by Gotch to allow Ryan Reeves to go wide. And Reeves had a chance just to fire the puck, and he tried to go to his backhand and make a play. And now the Hurricanes through the middle. Terry comes in, in front, and a shot right on goal by Riley Nash, and a save by Allen. What a shot that was. And the Blues to center ice, 10 to go. Shattenkirk comes in, and a wrist shot well wide. Here's a quick shot by Backus, and that's off the mark as well. And that will do it, the end of one in Carolina. A well, good start, certainly, for the Blues, scoring at 148 of the first period and then following that up with a goal at 325. Ryan Reeves continues his red-hot play. Justin Falk, the All-Star, scored late midway through, excuse me, to make it 2-1. to one. As the Blues exit the ice and get a little rest, our Plaza Tire Service shot comparison brings us to big Ryan Reeves and Justin Falk so one shot Reeves had a good chance at the very end to fire it and he was reluctant to do so the Blues outshot 9-8 in that period but lead it 2-1 after 20 well a very good start to this game the Blues with a 2-1 lead as we get set for the second period here in Carolina John and Darren back in the broadcast booth and that uh, fourth line with uh, Gotch sorry but that slipped a little bit here um, they, were, they were really good. I was falling for them in that first period. <laughs> well, you fell last night that, in the box, right? That is good stuff right there. Yes, I <laughs> tore an ACL. Yes. So I hope you're going to be okay here. But uh, I, I just, I can't, I get a kick out of actually Tarasenko and Reeves. Those guys are always together, always hanging out, always goofing around. Tarasenko, make no mistake, he's not a fourth line guy. But Ryan Reeves, uh, he may not be a fourth line guy as well with the way that he's going. He is just humming along right here and good control down low, always finishing his checks. He's a guy that certainly doesn't skate away from an opportunity to go through somebody. Big physical specimen, a very, very good athlete. Was a uh, terrific running back as a young football player growing up. And here's the play at the very end. And what a poke check that was from the goaltender Cam Ward after he went to a little backhander and it would have been a wide open net. <laughs> All right, Blues Hockey is sponsored by Bud Light who reminds fans to stay in the game and drink responsibly. <laughs> You gotta okay. have fun. You are you're okay, I'll partner. No, I, w I was sitting on a book and I just fell off the book. Yeah, it's and, probably you know, the same book that I slipped on last exactly. night. Exactly. Between the benches. Right. It happens. You know? It is Petrangelo and Bullmeister on defense here. And the back is line up front. Steen on the wing trying to get it in. Now he dumps it in deep. And Cam Ward on a relief of Hadobin sets it up. Oh, what a pass that is. And the Hurricanes come in. Tolusti in front. And Jordan Stahl fans on it. Good play by Petrangelo. Staying with Jordan Stahl there. And then dumped in by Petrangelo. And where's the puck? It's oh. up in the air. The players are signaling to hit the netting. 
You can barely see the netting from up here, huh? Here's the play here as Talusti does a good job of going wide on Bomeister, but keep your eye on 27 there. Strong stick on Jordan Stahl, otherwise Stahl's got a little bit of a tap in. You want to change? First 34 games, a minus 12 for this all-world defenseman, but the last 14, he's climbed back to an even rating. And that was his goal before the All-Star game was to get to even, and he did it. He has been special the last 15 games. 12 or plus 11 in the month of January is Petrangelo. And Shattenkirk off the boards. And a race Schwartz after it against Murphy. And Ryan Murphy back deep in his own zone. And the Hurricanes to center ice. Shattenkirk turns it the other way. And throws it in off the glass. Now to Stasny. He'll punch one back of the goal for Tarasenko. Hit the goal post in the first period. And now Shattenkirk, a shot. And that was off the body in front. And grabbed by Gerby. And he gets it by Gunnarsson in behind the Blues defense. And then Stasny back to help out. For Ott. And he goes the other way to Shattenkirk and off the boards and out. And at center ice, Brett Belmore throws it in there. Plenty of time for Shattenkirk. Tipped along by Reeves. And now the Hurricanes, Hainsey off the boards to center for Lindholm. And a high flipper to the corner. Cole gets back. And now Malone comes in and smothered by Jackman. And it's in the skates of Malone. Knocked away, the Blues get it. And here's Ott on to Gotch. In his second game as a Blue. Well, I like the way Reeves stayed on the ice after that dump in. Why dump it in there and not put some pressure on? So Reeves stays on. Now they get a line change and they're able to keep the puck down low. And now it's Lindstrom there. there no tighter Ratty back to Lindstrom. He throws it back to the goal. And then Yashkin trying to knock it away. And Ty Ratty hooks one back to the corner for Yashkin. On the cycle for Lindstrom. Blues moving all around. Now Lindstrom a shot. And it didn't get through and the Hurricanes get it. And finally to center ice, Skinner. And he gets it in on goal and steered wide by Allen. Long pass to Yashkin. And he winds up and fires it. And a pad save there by Cam Ward. Well, Bimo Harris Bank wants you to show your sign in support of the Blues. Tweet a picture of you and your sign to hashtag Bimo Blues Sign Contest for a chance to win Blues prizes and have it shown in upcoming broadcast. Visit BMOHarris.com slash Blues Sign Contest or visit a local branch near you. I'm going to tweet a picture of you falling off the desk here. <laughs> You, you know, if you can't <laughs> laugh at yourself, you've got problems, Tanger. And I'm the first to laugh. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> yeah, Patrick would be right there with you. Yeah, exactly, my son. <laughs> well, you almost bit it last night, so. And Alexander Steen had a, he had a great time watching that. Oh. Now it's jammed near the goal by Eric Stahl, and a good save there by Allen. Secure at the line, a shot. And that hit a pad, and now tipped out by Gunnarsson. There are the Hurricanes regrouping. And a pass hit the skate of Steen. Grabbed by Oshi. Slides it through to Steen. In on goal. And a save by Ward. And a great save indeed. And he covers. That is a great A scoring chance. Developed out, out of nothing at all. And then Alexander Skeen has got himself in a prime scoring situation as Oshi makes a nifty little pass through the legs. And that allows a one-on-one -on -one because Sakara had pulled off there, waiting for Shattenkirk on the far side. Here's Stahl down below. This is what makes these two so miserable to play against because they protect the puck so well. Hard to get the puck away from them. And Talusti has actually really been a good player alongside the two stalls. Now Schwartz back to Jackman. And that shot is blocked. And it comes to center ice. Here is Stasny. They'll throw it down the board for Schwartz. And now Stasny trying to tip it out of midair. Hurricanes break it up. Shots 12-10 for the Canes. The Blues lead 2-1. Now a pass from the corner by Terry goes through the goal crease. 
And Stasny over there for the Blues. He gets it back to Jackman. And hand it on to Cole. He'll lob it in from center ice. As the Blues make that tough change in the second period. Hurricanes don't get it deep here. Now Cole for Ott. Who scored his first ever goal at Scott Trade last night for the Blues. And now Ott to center ice. He gains the red line. In deep it goes. Reeves on the hunt against Murphy. Gotch picks it up. And he tries to skate away from Kirby. Now back to Petrangelo. A shot. And a pass save. Another chance. That one by Ott. And it was tipped out high, and the puck floated high to center ice. A good hard shot there by Petrangelo, and a better save with the right pad by the very aggressive Cam Ward. Once the Blues kept the puck down low and punted it back to Petrangelo on the right point, the goaltender reads that and ends up coming way on top of his crease. Reeves does a great job, allows Gotch to get the puck. Now Gotch is going to spin on a dime right here on Gerby, make a nice little move, run out of options, play it back to the point, and there's the save there by Ward. He's a goaltender that, if he has a chance to step out and there's, uh, you know, there's no tips, it's going to be an easy situation for him. Kind of one of those plays where he, you might be best benefited to fire it off to the side of the net for those little redirections instead of right at him because he will come outside on top of the paint. Gotcha's first NHL game was actually in St. Louis on playoffs. It was San Jose back in 03. Wow. And uh, has fit in very well in his first two games. Now McClement back of the goal. The former Blue Stein is a free agent after playing in Toronto. Yeah, he and Shattenkirk go down behind there. McClement kind of the forgotten man in that trade with big Eric Johnson. Shattenkirk and Stewart coming the Blues way. Now the Hurricanes give it up. Here's Gunnarsson. And a shot. That was tipped to the corner. Yashkin on it for the Blues. And it rolled on Shattenkirk. And all the way down the ice. And Allen out to play. He handles the puck very well. Now to Gunnarsson. And then feathered to center ice by Lindstrom. Oh, nice pass. Great pass to Oshi. He comes in. Little fake move. Now a little stutter step move as well. And then he ran out of real estate. But he stuck with it. And now centered by Steen, but that's broken up. And a pass hit a skate stays in the zone. And Steen after it again. And a shot from the angle, and Ward rather awkwardly made the save. Had to hurt a little bit in the back of the arm. He was almost turned the wrong way there. And Oshie hooked down. Now Steen in front, and a pass intended for Petrangelo, but his stick was lifted by Jordan Stahl. Well, I, I like when a, a player tests the goaltender when he's in that situation. We see that quite a bit with other teams doing that against the Blues goaltender. If you're going to go down in that reverse VH like that and be sideways, rifle one up high. And yeah, there's a high shot wide. This has been a penalty-free game tonight in Raleigh. And no ice in here, right? Murphy number seven. Four, Nash, long pass. And the Hurricane player, Skinner, goes down. Right. And the Blues take over. Ryan Murphy had a chance to go down and play in the American Hockey League All-Star game with Ratty. And now the Blues, a break with Stasny. Into Tarasenko. And the puck was elevated. He couldn't knock it down. And the Hurricanes get back. And now a pass ahead to Skinner. He comes in. Skinner. And a pass and a great wow. stick save there by Allen. Smart play. As he got the stick down. Similar play that uh, Ward made at the very end of the first on Reeves. And the game opens up here. Schwartz comes in a shot. Easy blocker save there by Ward. And tipped in deep by Stasny. And now uh, Brett Belmore for the Hurricanes. At the line. Reeves there along with Ott. And they keep it in. Now Reeves a shot. And that's why. Ott after it again to Reeves. Another shot and a blocker save by Ward. This man is possessed. I think Willard should be on every chart oh! this year. There's a hit by Reeves. And now to center ice. <laughs> and dumped in by the former Calder Trophy winner, Skinner. And five players congregate behind Allen. Gerby gets it for Carolina. Circles the net, a shot. And a save by Allen. The rebound cleaned up by Gotch. And he's away for the Blues. And that high dump in, gloved down by Ward. 11.30 left, second period. All the scoring in the first period. Reeves and Backus for the Blues. And Falk for Carolina. Now the Hurricanes to center ice. 
Dropped in by Malone off the boards. And that's covered by Allen. As we get a break in the action midway through the second. Oh, Ian Cole had a big scrap last night. The former Notre Dame first rounder ended up scrapping Nystrom, who played at the University of Michigan. Good little bout there. And uh, this game here, Ryan Reeves, as you just saw before he we went to break, good on the forecheck, has a one-timer on the far side. It's been a terrific couple of games back from the All-Star break. And, and that's tipped away by Oshie. He, he, went, he went to Cancun with that guy, TJ Oshie. And with a uh, couple of his other buddies, Wayne Simmons. Chris Stewart might have been part of that group. Well, whatever Reeves did on vacation, it really worked. He's on fire. This be ever. A new career high with five goals for Ryan Reeves. Mm. Here are the Haynes and Jordan Stall a shot. That goes wide. Said at the beginning of the year, that's what one area that he wanted to improve on. Firing more pucks at the net and uh, scoring more goals. Now the Blues come in, a pass to Petrangelo. And he can't get it through some skates. And now the Hurricanes get it and back they come. With Jordan Stahl. He had a broken leg in training camp and was out until late December. And now the Blues to center ice. Think of Eric Stahl too, tore his ACL at the World Championships the year before there. So they missed him while uh, Kirk Muller was the head coach. Injuries happen, they're a part of it, but boy, they're so much more magnified than the guys that you're paying the most amount of money to and they play the most amount of important minutes. Here comes Shattenkirk for Tarasenko with a move. He's knocked down. That's a penalty. And Skinner, I believe, is going to get a trip here as he stuck his leg out on Tarasenko. The first power play of the night is next. Well, with Skinner going to the penalty box, the crafty former first rounder trips up Vladdy Tarasenko went 16th overall in 2010. You can see that Tarasenko cut over to his right, used his left skate, kind of built a nice big firm wall there, and Skinner takes him down. Skinner actually got the worst of it. He was very slow to get up, but the last 15 games, how about this penalty kill? Killing off 39 of 40. It has been utterly impressive. They are at 87.3%. JK, I'm just impressed with the fact they've only been shorthanded now 127 times. Yeah, for a team that's that lost 25 games. I mean, you'd think you'd have frustration and lose your composure, and, but man, they have done a phenomenal job in that aspect of the game. Well, was second in the league in the power play at 24.5%. Here's Steen across for Shattenkirk. Up front, Schwartz, Bacchus, and Tarasenko. Shattenkirk a shot, and that was blocked by a hurricane stick, and it goes out of play. Right off of Gleason's stick right there and exploded off it. But uh, you see Shattenkirk and Steen, they, they're communicating here. One a right, one a left. Now you see there's no options there, not a whole lot of pressure, but good calmness shown by Shattenkirk. He's wanting to go back to Steen, but that's well covered. Obviously the Carolina Hurricanes know exactly where the power play starts with this unit. Now Stasny wins the faceoff. They are shot by Steen wide of the goal. And Stasny down the boards. Get some help there from Oshi. First power play of the night. Dustin gets free to the net. And it was knocked away from him at the last second. Hayratty is on this power play. We're in number 18. That's good stuff there. Put him in a, a position for success. And the Hurricanes to center. Here's Derby a drive and a save. Allen saw that all the way. Doesn't want to smother it. And now the Blues get back to pick it up. And some good hustle there by Derby. 50 to go in the power play. Blues leading 2-1 to one here. Tipped along by Stasny. And broken up by the Canes and shot down the ice. The Blues power play has been great, but not quite as hot as it was. Only two for the last 19. Well, you can't, you can't rely on a power play anyway to win a win your hockey games. I mean, there's some moments where, I mean, it's just on such fire, which it has been at a remarkable clip. And now Petrangelo for Bacchus. He leads the Blues in power play goals with nine. Hurricanes get it. But Goldmeister down low trying to get it back for the Blues. Along with Schwartz. And the Hurricanes, a good play in the middle and fired down the ice by McClement. It was a very good penalty killer. Yeah, he's so, so smart. 
doesn't waste a whole lot of energy, just understands that part of the defensive side of the game so well. And the Blues 0 for 1 tonight on the power play. And now Jordan Stahl at his own line. Here's Falk, who has scored the Cur Hurricanes goal. And a high shot, knocked away by Allen. Played near the line, but not out. And now Gotch gets it back for the Blues. And to center ice, and then a long bouncer right back in. Allen sets it up, almost to reverses to Petrangelo. Good movement there by uh, Jake Allen. I mean, that takes good footwork when you've got to get your body in behind the net and play it. Well, the Hurricanes. There's no good uh, goaltender that handles the puck that isn't a good skater or doesn't have good agility. You have to have it. Here's Sakara number four for the Hurricanes with 6.45 to go in the period. And he is stopped at the line by David Back as he just stood up there. And now Skinner goes for a skate back in his own zone. And Skinner up the wing for Elias Lindholm. And the 20-year-old. Down low for Rask. Blues get back. Gunnarsson ducks under a check. And now we get a penalty here. An interference call. It's against the Blues, I believe. Interference on Oshie. Interesting here. Oshie trying to help out Gunnarsson. And uh, barely makes any kind of contact, but he took an angle as if he was going to stop him and impede the progress. So for Bill Peters, the former Detroit Red Wing assistant coach. That's quite a group there for a little bit. Jeff Blasio was also part of that coaching staff with Mike Babcock. And Blasio's gone on to a great couple of years in the American Hockey League, winning the Calder Trophy, American League Championship, and then going to the finals. So we got Steve Smith, former Blue Rod Brindamore, also on the coaching staff on the bench. So of course, led them to the cup back in 06. First power play tonight for Carolina. Falk across to Gerby. Now Falk into Rask. Falk lines up in a shot right on goal and a save by Allen. Saw that all the way. He sure did. I mean, you can see he came out and challenged the potential shot by Rask, number 49. And then you see Rask plays it right back to Falk. They're looking for that big bomb from Justin Falk. And, and uh, the screen in front of the net kind of vacated the area. The whole point of the screen is timing it so you take away the eyes of the goaltender. And it's an art. I mean, that's why... That's why guys like former wing Thomas Holmstrom and Keith Kachuk and so many guys were so good at hockey sense and timing. Well, the Hurricanes get it back to the line for Nash. Now a shot, and they score! It may have been tipped in front, and the power play goal ties it at two. So the Blues get a chance on their power play, and nothing comes of it. And Ken Hitchcock's squad gives up a power play goal against. On a little interference call on Oshie. Hard shot by Murphy. Oh, goes off the stick of David Backus. Right off the heel of Backus's stick. That enabled that to change directions just ever so slightly. And for Jake Allen, he's moving out trying to find it. And those high redirections. And the goal at 14-19. And it's 2-2. Two two. And now the puck of the line blocked by Bowmeister. Here's Yashkin after it for the Blues against Hainsey. And then a pinching Bowmeister can't get there in time. Petrangelo does. And that's off the glass. And out of play. So the Hurricanes tie the game a power play goal at 14-19. Well, thanks very much, Pat, and that blast there by young Ryan Murphy, a real solid offensive-minded defenseman. As I mentioned, he went down before the All-Star break, went down to the American Hockey League, even though he was here in Carolina, played in the All-Star game in the American Hockey League, rifles that one and gets a break because that goes right off the heel of the stick of David Backus before eluding the goaltender, Jake Allen. It's his first goal of the year. Third career goal for Ryan Murphy. 
As the Hurricanes come in and a shot from the wing. Right on goal by Rask and a save by Allen. And the Blues clear to center ice. Nash and Jordan Stahl get the assist. On that last goal to tie the game. Here are the Canes again. Gerby in on goal and a good save there by Allen. And it goes all the way around the dasher. Had to be sharp there. It's a quick little play. Here are the Blues to center Schwartz. Trying to go wide on fault. And Jordan Stahl now for Sakara. And he gets away from the four checking of Schwartz. Well, to me, this is the line that's got to get clicking. And they're just going off the ice right now with Laterra's injury and Stassi getting a chance to play up there with Schwartz and Tarasenko. they got to get things rolling. Now Falk at the line, pushing one back of the goal for Eric Stahl. And broken up, good stick there by Oshie. And now a race for it. Oshie gets there ahead of Pelusti. And wins the battle down low. The Bowmeister a shot, and that's knocked away by Ward. And the puck tipped to center ice by the Canes. Oshie looks stronger, huh? The second step is skating much more powerful. He blocked a shot a couple of weeks ago, but you're right, he is on fire. Now Gotch in front, steals the puck, and a good chance there for Marcel Gotch. Yeah, really good, really good play. Starts with TJ Oshie before that, but going back to the goal again, says Cam Ward gets his game to 2-2. It's his game to be decided now. Our Mazda drives that off the stick, and then it clearly hits something else. Maybe the right, left skate, excuse me, of Jackman before getting in the net. We keep an eye on it from this angle. No, that angle doesn't show it clearly hitting a skate at all. So just that first redirection off the stick of David Backus. And three and a half to play here in the period. Now Reeves at the line, and he was checked by Nash. And Skinner comes in, but a good job by Ian Cole. And ahead to Reeves, who scored the Blues' first goal. Now on to Gotch, and he fans on it. And Nash hooks one ahead to Skinner. He comes in, gets it through, and a good back check there by Reeves to break it up. Yeah, good play, too, by Ian Cole. And now uh, the Hurricanes make a change. And Jackman to center ice. And he was not across the red line, so we get a whistle. We'll make your appointment now for the Blues and Fox Sports... Midwest American Red Cross Blood Drive on Monday at locations across the St. Louis area. Everyone with attempts to donate will receive a limited edition t-shirt while supplies last. Make your appointment by calling 1-800-RED-CROSS. So Reeves and Backus for the Blues, Falk and Murphy for the Hurricanes. Now a good face-off win there by Lindstrom. And the Blues to center ice. And now taken by Ty Ratty. Former second round pick. And the Blues rather cautiously here to center again. And then dumped in by Jackman. Here's Gleason off the boards for Gerby. And now handled by Kevin Shattenkirk for Gunnarsson. And across to Ratty again. Oh, good play. Nice pass to Gunnarsson. He comes in and a shot. And a big rebound in the midair. Yashkin swipes at it, but it's not on goal. And cleared to center ice. Gunnarsson had a couple of real good one-timers in last night's game against Nashville. There he lets that one rip after a real smart pass by Ratty. And now Murphy to center ice for Dwyer. And he hoists it high. And that goes right on goal, covered by Jake Allen with 157 left. And the one thing about Ty Ratty is his composure and calmness with the puck. And here he makes the pass across the ice. Big hard shot goes off the blocker. And there you can see that second bounce on Yashkin. He was very fortunate he was able to get a shaft of his stick on that one there. It came out like a hot potato. One goal and three assists in the American Hockey League All-Star game. And he had 31 goals last year in his rookie year. Uh, Toulouse back in his own zone to Belmore. And a long stretch pass for Toulouse. At the line to Jordan Stahl. Now for Eric back of the goal. And Eric Stahl hounded by Petrangelo. 
And now Jordan plays it back to Eric Stahl. A shot blocked in front by Bowmeister. And then flipped out by Schwartz. Tarasenko mm. tries a little reverse hit there on Haynes. Stolen there by Stasny. Oh, and a save there by Ward. And Stasny just a glorious chance. And the Hurricanes the other way. And then rattles around down low. Quick back of the goal by Petrangelo. And now Bowmeister for Steen. And Steen to center right with a minute to go in the period. And Sakira pass ahead for Riley Nash. Into Falk. And his drive at the ankle of Gunnarsson. And the Blues can't get it out. And a drive from the deep slot by Skinner Block. Down front to Skinner again. And it goes by his stick and all the way to center ice. That was a heck of a pass right there. That was... Was that? Was that, uh, that was Chris Terry behind the net that made that quick pass. Now a pass to Nash. His shot. And a right pass save and a beauty by Allen. And the Blues to center. Now Oshie on the wing. At the line, the Hurricanes break it up and Murphy drops it back. Now stolen again by the Blues in front. Here's Ott. As Murphy just coughs it up for Backus. And late in the period, Backus to the line. And that's too hot to handle for Shattenkirk. Kept in, though. Here's Reeves. And the horn sounds to end the second period. Well, when Bill Peters changed the goaltender up, Ryan Reeves and the St. Louis Blues got what Carolina's been given a lot of teams. Major League pushback. Falk and Murphy have tied this game at two apiece after 40 minutes. Our Plaza tire service shot comparison. Tarasenko's got six totals, but three of them blocked. Got to find a way to get those pucks through. Eric Stahl, the captain, has got six total. The shot's 10-10 in that second period. The only goal in that period, the power play goal by Ryan Murphy, ties it. And we're even after four. And the Blues back on the ice for the third period here in Raleigh, North Carolina. And we are all tied at two. John and Darren back in the broadcast booth. And the Blues jumped out to a quick 2-0 lead in this game. Goals from Reeves and Backus, but uh, the Hurricanes made a goaltending change. Hodobin went out, and Cam Ward came in, and he's done a really good job in goal. And I'm glad the Velcro that I used for your getting you on this uh, table has been working well, too, so you're stuck here now. Uh, yeah, the, I mean, the change was one that... Um, so early in the game, such a tough decision for a coach to make here. But you're looking at the game and you're thinking, okay, what a bad start. Not only Kadobin's fault, uh, as we well know, but Cam Ward, you know, kind of got things calmed down. And maybe the Blues took their foot off the pedal as well. Uh, you're up 2 nothing. you're on the road, it's a sleepy start to a game. And uh, fans are just getting into the building. But, you know, give uh, Cam Ward some credit. But give the, uh, the, the Carolina Hurricanes a lot of credit. They, they, they will not go away. Um, they're showing certainly uh, a lot of, uh, I don't know, just a lot of stick to I guess is the best way to describe them. And now here they are, 15 saves for Cam Ward, and it's a 2-2 game. I expect a really heck of a third period here, J.K. And they drop the puck, we're underway. It is Bollmeister and Petrangelo on defense. And the Bacchus line is up front against the Canes' top line of Toulouse, Stall and Stall. And dumped in by Bowmeister. Well, Jordan Stahl, the younger brother of Eric, stolen back of the goal in front. Backus was there, but he couldn't get it on goal. And now Toulouse comes in. And the Canes go offside. And that's a break there for the Blues. That's a bad offside. We'll get ready to party with the Blues every home game in February. It's Mardi Gras month, and the Blues are bringing you live bands pregame and postgame in Anheuser-Busch Beer Garden, Mardi Gras-themed food menus, and much more. Tickets start at $29. Go to stlouisblues.com slash Mardi Gras. And the Kings dump it in deep. And it comes around to Gunnarsson. Now Stasny, he was knocked off the puck. But it is played to center ice. And handled there by Ryan Murphy, whose power play goal tied the game. The Blues are 7 5 and 1 this year when tied after two. The Canes are 3 and 3. Now Stasny to center. He gets it back. Great pass in front and a shot wide by Tarasenko. 
Really good play right there. Nice backhand pass by Stassen. And then Tarasenko, a bit of a hook on Rask. Yeah, he's got to be careful. He tried yeah. to embellish, and neither yeah, but, was called. But he always uses one hand on his stick, and, he, and he's good at it. And he's got these strong forearms, but a lot of times the referees just make that call if it's anywhere near the fingers. You know, a good stick there by Gotch, and then a little wrist shot. Handled easily by Cam Ward. Well, like I said, Tarasenko, this line feeds off the tenacity of a Jaden Schwartz. Here's a good play there by... Stastny, who gets the backhand right there, right on the tape there to Tarasenko, who rifles that low to the glove side. The seventh attempt in tonight's game. And from the face off the Hurricanes, on to center with Hainsey. And then chipped in deep by McClemon. Malone goes after it. And now they crash and bang to the right of Allen. In the slot, good stick there by Steve Ott. And Ott on to center ice. He'll drop one to the corner. Reeves, a great board check there. And Haynes, he plays it around. Kept in by Jackman. And now it comes free for Lindholm. And pointed high to center ice. There are the Blues attacking again with Lindstrom. Little shoulder fake there. Now looks around. Back on the line to Gunnarsson. And he tries to get free. Gunnarsson, good play to Shattenkirk. He works in. Rest shot wide on the short side. And now Gunnarsson again. Another shot. Knocked down in front. Gashkin after it for the Blues. And then they're ratty. And the rookie leaves it down there. And it's picked up by Chris Terry. And up the boards it goes. And now to center ice. And then back hit it in deep by Skinner. Shattenkirk off the boards, tipped out by Yashkin. And Skinner has it again. Well, you can see that Yashkin and, and uh, Ratty playing some time in the American Hockey League together. They got some chemistry, but that was one of the two times in the game where they actually had control of the puck down low in an area that they're very good at, which is the cycle. But there's the difference between the American League and the National Hockey League for Ratty. There's just such subtle adjustments that you have to make. Defensively, Carolina was in a good spot and they read it perfectly. Chris Terry was right there knowing that Ratty was going to go to the backhand on a cycle and he, he, the puck gets picked off. Now, he's a smart hockey player. He's got good hockey sense. It's a lot to digest when you get recalled and you, you got to go through the, the ordeal during the day, looking at the video, looking at the neutral zone, looking at the offensive zone, defensive zone coverage. Boy, I'm sure sometimes it can be a little overwhelming at first. And to make matters even tougher, he had to get a flight at 6 o'clock this morning from Chicago. So not a lot of time to prepare. Now the Blues into the zone. Here's Bacchus. And a skipping pass goes over the stick of Bowmeister. And Allen, trying to catch the Canes on a line change, feeds it ahead to Steen. In against Dwyer. Now Hainsey goes up the boards. And Gerby turns, can't clear it by Steen. And the Blues with it in the offensive zone. Played to Tarasenko. Now back to Cole. And his shot blocked by Dwyer. And the Hurricanes the other way. And wristed in from center ice by Gerby. And now Gerby around to the far side for Rask. And Rask in the deep spot to Dwyer a shot. That goes wide. And comes around. Stasny off the boards. And Tarasenko and Stasny get it back. And it's flipped to center ice. Here's Rask again. Hmm. Broken up at the line. This, this uh, group of three is just not in sync together. And they're, now they're trying for a few of those little home run, high hoisting backhanders, and then going for a line change. They gotta, they gotta play a little tighter as a three-man unit. You're talking about the, the Stastny line here. I am, yeah. Yeah, Schwartz, Stastny, and Tarasenko. It looks to me like they're just getting a little frustrated here. they got to stick with the plan here. Well, Bowmeister tips it back of the goal. And Petrangelo up the near side for Reeves. And the Blues into the zone with Ott. Ott down the wing to Gotch. And a shot on goal. And a good play and a good save by Cam Ward, the native of Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. Yeah, really good play right there. I mean, feed the man that's ahead of you. And that's what Ott does. And he, and he finds Marcel Gotch. Ott feeds it over, Gotch is on the left side, lets it rip, Petrangelo, the defenseman, has jumped right in there to get to the net front presence looking for a rebound. 
That's a good rush right there. Very simple, very efficient rush to get a good shot on goal. And now Lindstrom on the faceoff. Faceoff's just about dead even after two. And it comes in front. Raddy's after it. Duck back of the goal now for Yashkin. And then Raddy again to the blue line to Gunnarsson. Wrist shot tipped wide by Yashkin. And he goes after it. Get some help from Raddy. Now Shattenkirk to Gunnarsson on his knees. And then a shot was blocked. And it's off a Hurricane player and out of play. What a play by Gunnarsson there. He takes that pass from Shattenkirk. Loses his balance. Ends up on his knees trying to take that pass. Look at the grin on his face right there. Very, pretty quiet guy, boy. But he's starting to really blend in with this group. Nice play by Raddy to use the boards over to Shattenkirk. And there was the play by Gunnarsson on his knees. Gunnarsson's father, Bjorn. That's one of the great Swedish names, isn't it? Isn't it? My favorite tennis player growing up was Bjorn Borg. Was he good? Oh, was he good? Oh, you got that one. I was a Jimmy Connors fan, the Belleville, Illinois native. Nice. Why wouldn't you be? Well, Jordan Stahl comes in front and knocked away by Petrangelo. And then a puck ahead on the wing for Steen. And to center ice for Oshie. He can't get very far. Tied at two here in the third period. Blues looking to win their fourth in a row and extend their unbeaten streak to ten games. Long pass to center. Here comes Victor Rask. He walks in a shot and a glove save by Allen. Saw that all the way. Tied at two here in the third period. Thank you, Pat. In a tight game here in the third period. And one time the Blues led 2-0. Goals from Reeves and Backus. Falk and Murphy for the Carolina Hurricanes. And the Blues win a face-off and fire to center ice. And then Schwartz there to bang it deep. Here's Gleason for Murphy. And then for Rask, their second-round pick in 2011. He can't clear it out. Now Schwartz for Stasny. He'll go to the line to Shattenkirk. And a long shot. And that's wide of the target. Tip back of the goal. You know, Darren, maybe the key play in this game was after the Blues chased Hadovin. Tarasenko hit the goal yes, post. Did. That's right. On the first shift after Ward came in the game. It would it was almost three-nothing. Yeah, hit the bar high over the glove side. Now you're you're absolutely right. Those fine little moments in the game that gave Carolina a break. And uh, they found their way back into this hockey game. Well, the back is lying back on the ice. Stolen in front for Jackman. Wide open a shot. And then oh. Oshie, the rebound. It comes in front. And he can't jam it in after a glaring giveaway by Carolina. Good try right there. It looked like Oshie might have had a chance to really get to that near post and jam that in. And then the Hurricanes. McClellan comes back in. Good step up there by Cole to take away the line. And it comes to center back in offside. Well, Barrett Jackman's father-in-law, James, is on hand here. And here's the shot there by Barrett Jackman. And you can see Oshie there. He might have had more of a chance to go to the post, but he tried to jam it maybe off the back of the goaltender. See from this angle here, Oshie here. Yeah, and Steen's right in front. But they're not able to get a clean whack at it right there. So, good play there by Jackman. But from, from that replay, Oshi, it looked like he could have stuffed it in, that's, but... Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, but, yeah. but you know what? It goes about a million miles an hour faster when you're on the ice yes. than it does up here. Sure does. Here's a drive by Reeves, and he stepped into that one in a save by Ward. And off the boards now for Nash, and ahead to Skinner. Good stick there by Shattenkirk to break it up. And now Gotch back in his own zone. Gunnarsson to Shattenkirk. Nice pass to center, and then tipped along by Ott. And the Blues go off on a line change here. And the former Montreal Canadian first rounder, Ron Hainsey, up the middle. And he can't penetrate, and the Blues, Lindstrom fires it off the boards the other way. Well, you can really see the, the wear and tear of playing last night at home. Tough game with the two players injured midway through the game. It's taken its toll on the Blues. They don't quite have the legs, that burst that they normally show. Yeah, a guy like Steen played 25 minutes last night. That's a lot of quality minutes. And now back us to center ice. But this is where the Blues have to trust their game and their, right. and their defensive system. And just play a patient game here on the road. 
Now Petrangelo to the corner, along with Bacchus. And it goes back to Andre Sakara. Tip to center ice now for Eric Stahl. That hits a skate, and then Talusti gets it, and that's an offside. Otherwise, he's got Justin Falk ripping down the right side. In the meantime, our dirt cheap snapshot of the game. There it is. It's a conversation, constant communication. You can see the hockey IQ of Marcel Gotch talking to Ott and Reeves, and then right after that, you can see that Ryan Reeves steps into this one here, and it's a howitzer. We talked to the goalies of the Blues in practice, and they do not like facing Ryan Reeves. Now, one part of it is he shoots it hard. The other part of it is the players aren't convinced that he knows exactly where it's going. <laughs> sort of like Roman Pollock. <laughs> there are similarities. And it scares the daylights out of you as a goaltender. Now, Skinner gets loose in front in a good play by the Blues to break it up. At the last second. And now it's Yashkin on the wing. And he makes a good play to scoop it high, but it's going to go all the way down and an icing call against the Blues. Yeah, I still don't mind that play, though. The, the, you know, use the boards, uh, use the glass in that scenario. And that, that's okay. That's a patient style of game. Now you've just got to rely on the fundamentals of a face-off. And the Blues have this young line on the ice, and Bill Peters counters with the stall group. Why wouldn't he? And Lindstrom, 43% of the circle tonight. And are they going to toss him? Yes, they will. So Yashkin will take it. Oh, no, they're not going to toss him. Well, so after an icing call, you can't get tossed. Right. Exactly That's right. a new rule this year. That's right. And Lindstrom ties up Jordan Stahl. Good job. Yeah, really good job. And the Blues to center. Here's Ty Ratty. And he gets it deep. Yeah, he pounded that one. Persistence. And it comes around. Petrangelo pinching in. And knocked away by Eric Stahl to center ice. Bomeister. The man open on left wing. That's Schwartz. And funnels a high one into the glove of Ward. And we get a whistle. Well, tonight on Fox Sports Live, they've got all the news from the world of sports, including highlights of a full day in the NBA and NHL. Fox Sports Live is tonight on Fox Sports 1 and streaming live on Fox Sports Go. Midway through the third. Even at two, Stasny on the faceoff. He won it from McClement, but it goes too high and all the way down the ice. And now Tarasenko back to Bowmeister. Trying to hit Stasny. That goes by him. And another icing call against the Blues. Well, the play from the faceoff in the offensive zone was, you know, was done properly. It just was just a little too high going back to Vladdy Tarasenko. And he couldn't knock it out of midair. Both teams still have their timeouts, correct? Yes. It is Stasny against Rask. Rask gets it back, and Murphy a shot in a pass save by Allen. Now tip back of the goal. And Dwyer. Murphy again, former first rounder out of Kingston in the Ontario Hockey League. And then Stasny some good work in behind his own goal. He's kind of a, in the mold of a, a Ryan Ellis that was, in, was injured and not playing for Nashville right now, but that kind of style from the Ontario League. Smaller players, good hockey sense. Not going to overwhelm you physically, but to make good plays. And again, the Blues shoot it down the ice. This time they oh, say no icing. Good hustle by Tarasenko. Yeah, he did not appear to be ahead of the no. Hurricane player there in the race, but no icing. And Hainsey, he's just been barking at the official the whole time, coming up the ice. Well, Gotch gets it to the Blues. Nice pass. Here's Reeves in the clear. And oh. a save by Ward on Ryan Reeves. Now Reeves again in front. Oh, hooks it back. Jack for the drive. And a save by Ward. Man, this line has been tremendous tonight. Now the Hurricanes clear it away. All because of the icing play that Hainsey was arguing about. And the Blues take advantage of it. And another terrific shift from this line. And now Malone in his own line. That was a great little feathery pass by Gosh. Well, a big rebound there. Coughed up by Allen. But the Blues get it on the boards. And now, oh, nice pass. It is Steen to Oshie. He gets behind Sakara. To back us a shot and a pass saved by Ward. And the Canes play it off the glass to center ice. 
And now Sakira again, up the middle. That's blocked by Gunnarsson. Moved along by Bacchus, tipped in by Oshie. And Sakira. The Slovakian back in his own zone. And the Blues making changes here to their forward group. Justin Falk gets it. And then Sakara now on to Jordan Stahl. Former first rounder by the Penguins. And then back of the goal for Eric Stahl. And the Blues with their big two back on defense. They break it up. And chipped out by Petrangelo. That was quite a team there in Pittsburgh where you've got Crosby at one, Melkin at two, and Jordan Stahl at number three. Wow. That was some dynamic group. Now the Blues with the Stasny line on the ice. They can't hold it in. Here's Bowmeister back at his own line. Takes out Eric Stahl. Oh, and he doesn't like that. He's poking away at Bowmeister. And now the Blues to center ice. And dumped in by Petrangelo. We have had only two minors in the game. One to each club. Now the Hurricanes into the zone. On to Skinner. And a little dipsy doodle move and a shot blocked. And Lindstrom gets back with a good defensive play. And he gets it on to center ice. Here are the Hurricanes. Skinner with it. And he comes in for Nash. Back to Skinner. And a save by Allen. Wow, that was awkward. Yeah, very deep in his net that he made the save. Skinner trying to beat him up high with a quick release. That's what he did in the last game in St. Louis. And now the Blues kick it ahead. And Yashkin gets it out. With 6.40 left in regulation time. In a 2-2 game. And that is hooked in for center off the goal post. Oh, Belmore hit the goal post. I don't know what Allen was doing. He let it go and hit the goal post. Oh, he's jumping. And now to center ice. I don't know if he thought it was going to go wide on an icing or what, but he let it go. And it hit the goal post. <laughs> and you almost jumped to the booth here at PNC Arena. And now it's Gerby at center ice. Wish we had a look at his dad, Kurt, at that time. <laughs> and now the Blues to center ice with Gotch. Good pass on to Reeves. And he can't get behind Sakara. And then Gerby at the line. He can't get in there, and the Hurricanes regroup. And now Dwyer a pass. That's tipped back in the zone by Steen. And the Hurricanes throw it down the ice. Knocked down by Cole. And his pass up the middle. Oshie can't handle it. And now Sakara tracked down by Oshi. And the Blues take over. Steen in the corner. Down to the line, and Petrango had to back up. As the Hurricanes force it out. Here are the Blues the other way again. In for Oshi. Trying to cut to the middle. Drops it off to Bowmeister. He darts back on the goal. In front to Oshi, and he can't get a shot through. And now McClement the other way. On for Tulusti. Derek Stahl a drive. That was blocked by Petrangelo. And then played to the corner now to Bowmeister. With five minutes left here in the third period. And a pass by Bacchus. That hits Oshie. Goes to the corner. In there against Ryan Murphy. Hurricanes up the board. Tulusti. Smothered there by Stasny. And now Tim Gleason goes the other way with it. And Jordan Stahl to center ice. Broken up there by Tarasenko. And a good job by Murphy to curl the other way to center ice. And they play one of the Blues line. Darren, do you have any idea what happened on that dump in that hit the goalpost? Well, yeah, it made a wicked right turn after it was end over end. But I guess my question is, you've got to be so sure that, it, number one, that it's icing, which I wasn't so sure that it was going to be an icing call anyway. And number two, with a puck on end like that, you can't take the chance to move out of the way of the net like that. Because it hit ricocheted by a couple of inches and end up hitting the post. Could have been the game-winning goal. Now Skinner to the corner. And Jackman back for the Blues. It's different if it's a lacrosse ball or a tennis ball, and you know that the bounce is going to be accurate. But when it's a hockey puck and it's end over end, it's one of the edges and can go two or three inches either way. Yeah, it's like a, a football on a punt. You just don't know what it's going to do. No icing here. And a good hit by Yashkin. Play continues. Three and a half to go here. Then Falk comes in. Then Falk a drive and a save there by Allen. 
as he challenges there and makes the save. It was close at the other end. It's still 2-2 here in the third period. Well, and there's number 34, the proud father of goaltender Jake Allen. That's Kurt right there. And, uh, and <laughs> we're late in the game. He's going to have another Bud Light because <laughs> of this one right here. There's, uh-oh. Oh. <laughs> He's like, it's going to go, oh, oh, it, oh, my goodness. That's going to be an interesting conversation be between dad and son. And then, you know, mom's going to call <laughs> after that as well and ask, why were you moving out of the way from that, that hot high one there? And Jake will say, I had it all the way. <laughs> Not even a shot on goal. Exactly. Now McClemmon in deep, a pass block. And then Backus. That's tip. Where is it? Comes in front. And pinballs around and taken by Steen. <laughs> and he fights off a four check. Now Lindholm centers it. And good pressure there by the Canes with the Blues. Relieve the pressure. And chipped out by Gotch. And then it rolls down to Sakara. And defensive zone face off. Hitchcock makes sure that he's got Gotch and Backus, two centermen on the ice at that time. Well, Jordan Stahl races in for the Hurricanes. In deep for Toulouse. Shattenkirk up the boards to Backus, tips it. Good play, and here the Blues to center with Oshi. Now on to Schwartz. He waits in the deep slot to Gunnarsson. Now a pass back again. Stasny oh. a shot, and a save by Ward. It's still loose, and Ward can't find it. And now we get the whistle with 2.27 left. Wow, that's magnificent puck movement there by the Blues. Tic-tac-toe, and eventually a good shot on goal. T.J. Oshie pays the price in front of the net on a late shift, a long shift for T.J. Oshie. Started before that face off in the defensive zone. Good crisp pass in there by the Blues, and Oshie's in front trying to get... Oh, there's a second attempt right there. From our angle, I couldn't see where the pad of Cam Ward was, but we clearly saw it there. And Cam Ward has been perfect so far in this game, and he's been brilliant against the Blues in his career with a minuscule goals against average. And now the face off. Is won by the Hurricanes. And thrown to center ice. Gunnarsson, the first man back. He winds it around to Stasny. And just turns and wheels it into the Hurricane zone. Blues have outshot the Canes. 29-25. Tied at two. Now Gunnarsson. Good play off the boards for Reeves. Oh. And he got that one in deep. And the Blues go on the fourth check. Gotch spins the man around back of the goal. And now the Canes come up with it. And that pass hit odd, and the Blues have it again. To Petrangelo. And that's up high. Gloved down by Ward. Deals it back of the goal for Belmore. That pass picked off by Backus. He was lurking near the line. And now Ott gets it for the Blues. And he was checked and moved along by Terry. Into Skinner, and a shot, and that's blocked by Petrangelo, and it goes out of play. Hey, it's full flight traffic tonight. Stop by Club Sound with the Arena Club. 123 right left to play in a 2-2 game. Time for our Nissan.com checks of the game. Ooh, that was early. Gerby gets a piece of 91. Tarasenko into the corner comes Murphy. Bang! Left side of the body there of back is Belmore. Balance himself for a big hit there from Ryan Reeves. Here, and they move the face off to center. I thought Petrangelo would tip that puck out of play. Anyways, the Blues win it here, and Gunnarsson dumps it in. Oh, Ward almost lost it there. Comes in front, and knocked away from the slot area by Toulouse. And now it's Eric Stahl. Down the boards on Petrangelo. What a play by Petrangelo. Oh, that's sleuth-like, isn't it? He gets it back for the Blues. Here they come. Bo Meester in on goal. A shot. And Ward was off his angle there. Missouri Lottery Blues live is next. 45 seconds left here in the third period. And both teams make changes here. And Petrangelo. Pass to center ice. Too far for Gotch. Who is between Tarasenko and Schwartz. To the corner. Petrangelo. Trying to move it ahead. And the Clement throws it back behind the goal. Taken by the Blues. Shattenkirk and now on to Tarasenko. With 15 seconds left in regulation time. And look who's on the ice. Fourth line here. 
Knocked into midair by Ott. Ott comes in, and a shot he just missed. Top corner, oh. and it goes out of play. That would have been a winner with four seconds left. Uh, trust factor is everything, though. And so not only did they put on a reliable line that's humming right now, but they nearly finish off the game. Good, smart play in the middle of the ice. Right there by Gotch. He goes to center lane drive, tries to interfere with the stick of Murphy, and allows that high heater there by Steve Ott, who just had his Windsor Spitfire hockey sweater retired. And his dad, Butch, is on hand here tonight. And a timeout by Ken Hitchcock. Well, our Plaza tire surface shot comparison. Ryan Reeves is loving this, isn't he? Look at the attempts he's got going here. Seven total, one goal, seven for Justin Falk, the all-star that played in the Olympics last year. Great skating defenseman scored the first goal of the game to make it two to one at 10.57 of the first period. And there is Willard Reeves. He's right beside Bill Elliott. Oh, Willard. He still looks like he's in great shape, doesn't he? He was a great football player oh, in the Canadian he Football League. He was MVP. 1984, great cup. Winnipeg Blue Bombers. Jim Zorn. I think that, I'm not sure if Jim Zorn was the quarterback. Yeah, you're on a roll. Keep going. <laughs> and they, they added a couple of seconds to the clock here. 6.5 left. And Stasi will take it. And try and drive back to Tarasenko against McClemens. He gets it back to Tarasenko, a shot, and tipped out of play with 3.8 left. Yep, that faceoff will remain inside. Jordan Stahl was very quick to go out to the point position. McClellan is their best faceoff man at 55%. Stasny on the year, 57% for the Blues. Check on the clock. And... They do not add any more time. And we get set again. Stasny and McClement. It comes in front. And the Hurricanes on it. And we go overtime for the second consecutive night. Reeves and Backus for the Blues. Falk and Murphy for the Hurricanes. Tied after 60 minutes. Overtime is brought to you by Jim Butler Chevrolet.com. St. Louis's top selling Chevy dealer because they do the deals the other guys just won't. Jim Butler is the Chevy powerhouse. It is 2-2 after 60 minutes. As we go to overtime here at PNC Arena. And Jim Butler, Chevrolet.com presents our overtime records. The Blues, of course, winning last night in the shootout. The Hurricanes, 4-5. and five. And, Darren, as we know, a few weeks ago, these clubs went to overtime in St. Louis before the Blues prevailed in a shootout. Yep, and if it gets to the shootout, T.J. Oshie scored a beauty last night. And Kevin Shattenkirk won it. Tarasenko and Steen did not score. So the team switch ends, and we go 4-on-4 four four for five minutes. Packers and Steen up front for the Blues. Stahl, Jordan Stahl and Rask are the forwards here for Carolina. And this is Andre Sakara. Oh, broke Stahl a broke a stick. Yeah. And the Blues into the zone with Steen. Steen to the net for Packers, and that was blocked. Now Steen gets it again. Spins off the check to Petrangelo, and a shot, and that's tipped by a stick out high to the corner. Really nice play by Steen on the far side to spin around and get that puck back to Petrangelo. And now the Hurricanes to center ice, Rask with it. Oh. And he comes in on the backhand. He'll play it back to Sakara. And a shot blocked by Bacchus, and it goes out of play. Yeah, good stick there by Bacchus. Sakara doing a little spin around himself. Got to really be impressed with that Victor Rask as well. He's uh, another smart, heady game here as David Backus defends. Backus has got a goal in this game. Here's that little change of angle play by Sakara, and you see goaltender Jake Allen showing that it's it's up there and out of play. And now a face off deep in the blue zone. The Blues next game is Sunday. The noon start St. Louis time in Washington against the Capitals. That game is on NBC. There's another big game later that day, huh? 
Yeah, a lot of hockey on Sunday. Oh, you mean the football game. You mean time. Watch the Blues game. Relax. Get ready for the commercials. Yes, watch the 24-hour pregame show. Two great And then watch the football game. Who do you like? I like New England. Yeah, I like New England too. Here in overtime, Oshie on the forecheck, but Dwyer gets it back. Because regardless, regardless of the inflated balls or not, or deflated, or deflated, excuse me, it was a, uh, it was a romp. Exactly. A romp's a romp. Now Tarasenko scored a beauty the last time these clubs played. He goes wide on Sakira, but lost it. And now back of the goal, Falk, counted by Schwartz. And the Hurricanes with it. And they just do get out. You're going to see a pretty cool commercial during the Super Bowl locally in St. Louis. It involves the great Brett Hull and Vladdy Tarasenko. Nice. And it's going to be about the deflated pucks. Kind of the theme there. Good friends of the Blues and, and uh, of course, home builders in St. Louis area. McBride and home. Done a great job of incorporating the Blues. So, always thank them for that. And the great efforts of Brett Hull and Vladdy Tarasenko. And Kelly Chase has got a little bit part in that as well. Yes, he does. Now it is Nash through center ice. Drop pass to Skinner. In on goal. And a good save there by Allen. Was it ever. Quick little... Uh, Snapshot so tricky when you're moving side to side because that was labeled between the legs. Now 220 left in overtime. Gunnarsson, good pass into Bacchus and a shot on goal and a save by Ward. Has he been good tonight? As he has stopped all 27 he's faced in goal in relief. Picked off by Shattenkirk. And he delays a little bit. Then played back to his partner Gunnarsson now across to Shattenkirk. Who's trying to get a change executed here? And Bowmeister on the ice. And now played to Bowmeister. Up the boards to Steen. And rather cautious play here in overtime. And now the Blues are offside. Well, the Blues have done February Mardi Gras month, and with home games every Tuesday. You can join in on the Fat Blues Day fun for just $29 a ticket. That's a great deal. It includes live local music before and after the game along with special food and beer menus. It all starts next Tuesday against Ben Bishop and the Tampa Bay Lightning. Mm. Now Oshie comes in and a shot up high and a save by Ward. You know, that, that should really be a terrific game. Uh, I, I mean, the way that Tampa Bay plays... The, the tie-ins, obviously, with Ben Bishop, but uh, the uh, their coach, John Cooper, former St. Louis Bandit coach, uh, the way that they play, their style of play, always pushing the puck up the ice, that will be one heck of a high-octane contest. And one of the best goal scorers in the league is Stamkos. Blues win the faceoff, Bowmeister, and a shot, and that goes wide. Right off the draw, he was wide open. It wasn't ever. And now it's center Bowmeister, who thought he won the game in overtime against the Hurricanes a few weeks ago, but the goal was called back. Now the Canes to center ice, Sakara. And he delays a bit. Now Sakara can't get up the middle. Falk with it. The shot. And a save by Allen. And that's a good save. He had Jordan Stahl right in his kitchen. And now the Blues to center with under a minute to go in overtime. Here comes Oshie, can't oh, make a play. Yeah, he was trying to pass that over to Bowmeister, who was heading on to the bench for a line change. Fans don't like that play there by Petrangelo on stall. They held him up a little bit at the line. Now Gunnarsson to center ice. Here comes Shattenkirk into Schwartz. Drops it off to Gunnarsson. Around the wheel it goes. Schwartz a drive and a save. And a rebound is loose there. Oshie couldn't get on his skates in time. And you saw how aggressive Cam Ward is on that play. He really protects his crease well. And now Murphy comes in. Here's Murphy to the net. And that goes wide of the goal. And Victor Rask off the boards. To the line. Now in the deep slot. Murphy can't pull the trigger. And Chase back of the goal. Now for Rask. And a shot. Hit a leg. And we will go to a shootout. 
to the second consecutive game. Well, things really picked up here in the overtime. Good sequences by both squads, both goaltenders making some rock-solid saves. Here's Ward again. The toes are on top of the crease. He pushes the puck away. He took a couple of swats and whacks at Oshie before that because Oshie was close to the blue paint, but not to be outdone because Jake Allen makes a couple of really, really good saves there. Well, the shootout is brought to you by Jim Butler, Chevrolet.com. Jim Butler is the Chevy powerhouse. And tonight's goalie shootout numbers are presented by Jim Butler, Chevrolet.com. In their career, obviously, Cam Ward facing a ton more rubber there. Only 11 shots faced for Jake Allen, but he stopped 90% of them. That's a, just a, a remarkable number. But uh, Cam Ward's been really outstanding in relief of Anton Kudobin in this hockey game. And, you know, as the game went along, too, give Jake Allen a lot of credit. He battled hard in this game, almost allowing that flipper from center ice off the post and in. But he's got himself in a situation where he faces Rask right off the hop. And I imagine the Blues will go with the same formation as last game, which was O.C. Tarasenko and Steen. But Victor Rask, one of two on the year. In against Jake Allen. And a good save. He stayed right with him. Yeah, he sure did. And, and again, I talked about it a lot, but the patience you have to have both as a shooter and as a goalie. The goalie's trying to wait for that first move made by the forward, and the forward's trying to wait for the goaltender. But you can see that that was great stuff there by Jake Allen, staying with it. Dan Oshie, who had a beautiful goal last night. The first shooter for the Blues. In on Ward, rather deliberately. And a backhander goes high. See how far out Cam Ward was there? And it was almost giving him the five ball. And this is where hockey sense comes in in preparation. I mean, everybody watched TJ Oshie and Sochi. But uh, in the NHL, too, there's so many moves that he has at his disposal. I thought Cam Ward did an excellent job on that. And number 25, Chris Terry is the shooter. Quickly in on goal. And off the goal no. post. No goal. They're saying no goal. The light came on, but that hit the goal post. Obviously, they will review this as they do with every close situation. But uh, interestingly enough, Rask and Terry are the first two shooters. And that clearly looks like it goes off the bar. And out. No goal. And now Shatkirk, who had the winner last night. The goalies have been perfect so far. Shattenkirk in on war. And he scores! What a shot. What a shot indeed by Shattenkirk. And now the Blues could win it. Just a wicked wrister. Pulling that to the stick side. Coming in on the right. Moving back to the left. Looking at the stick side. Not much room. That's a perfect shot. What a beautiful wrister there by Shattenkirk. And Eric Stahl must score. Can Allen make the save here? Here he comes, and a save, and the Blues win it! Another shootout victory! As Allen stops all three, and the dads love it. Ah, uh, that's good work right there. Nice stuff. Kurt will be a happy camper. Everybody's going to be happy heading on that plane, heading to Washington, D.C. A game that was a funny start. Reeves and Backus made it 2-0. And it looks sleepy. And then Falk opened up the eyes of Carolina after they pulled their goalie before Murphy tied it at two. No scoring in the third, no scoring in overtime. And the two points go to Jake Allen and the Blues. And for the second straight night, Shattenkirk gets the winner. Well, you can see that Jake Allen is absolutely luring Stahl into the five hole. That's the old give it and take it away. And look at that reaction from the boys. Pressure's off, Bud Light's in tow, and here we go. <laughs> <laughs> And speaking of Bud Light, our player of the game is Ryan Reeves. Yes, he had, boy, playing almost 13 minutes, set the tone again, had many, many good scoring chances, five shots on goal. Normally, we're only talking about the forecheck and hitting and being that tenacious fourth liner, but, man, he was a very, very effective player, as was the fourth line. The Blues have now won four straight, undefeated in 10. A 3-2 shutout victory here in Carolina.